I didn't have any problems. You know, grow, growing up and up, up until about a year ago, I had perfect hearing, everything was fine. And uh, I was driving down the, the highway with my family going to the science center and both of my ears just popped. And at the same time, they popped, I lost hearing in my left ear, and I had a loud ringing. It's about 80 or 90 decibels, just ringing all the time. First didn't know what it was, thought it was just a, you know, ear infection or something like that. Went into the urgent care, and that's what they told me, here, take some of these steroids, you'll feel better in a couple days. Well, a couple days later, I'm feeling better, and it stayed the same. So I, I reached out to the slew care, went over to them, and, and said, hey, I think I have something really wrong with my, my ears. They did a few tests and were, I mean, it must have taken 10 or 15 minutes, and they're like, yeah, you have, uh, you have permanent damage in your, in your left ear. Uh, your hearing's gone, and that ringing is never going away. I wasn't expecting this, right? And I wasn't. And as terrified as I was, you know, and it's, it's tough to admit it, I called my wife in that, in that, in that room telling her it was permanent damage, and I was in tears. You know, here I am, everything's fine, life's great, and then all of a sudden, out of the blue, through nothing that I can even understand, then I, I, I can't hear anymore. When it first happened, um, it, was, it was terrible, right? I mean, I couldn't sleep, I couldn't, think I couldn't do it. I, could, I didn't sleep for almost three and a half weeks because you can't. It's like imagine trying to go to sleep but there's someone literally running a leaf blower next to your head all the time and so you just you can't concentrate. Um, I couldn't get through an email without having to just kind of step back. It was it was unbelievable. Um, I didn't know how I was going to function. I mean honestly, I didn't know how I was going to keep my job. I didn't know how I was going to just I mean communicate with my family and, and for as morbid as it sounds sometimes you're almost like I don't I can't do this for the rest of my life. I just can't literally do it. I talked with uh, the doctor that ended up doing the surgery, um, Dr. Josh Sappington over at, uh, at Salute Care, and we went through the different options. There's not many, right? The, the options are we can either, you know, do some steroids, which we tried and it didn't work, and the options are now either just live with this for the rest of your life, or the other option that he talked about that I, that I ended up going with was the possibility of a cochlear implant. Unfortunately, Mr. Boyle did not have a uh, increase in his hearing following therapy, and so that led to talking about hearing restoration options for him. He is a gentleman that has uh, a very busy life, a lot going on, and he was having a lot of difficulty uh, um, navigating his life with only one ear. Um, you know, if you have one ear and you go into uh, get a cup of coffee and there's a lot of background noise, you end up having a lot of difficulty hearing people and interacting with that environment. We talked about his options and he wanted to pursue cochlear implantation for single-sided deafness and uh, we proceeded with that. For me it was different because this ear still works. So I have, I, I don't have bilateral hearing loss, I have unilateral hearing loss. Um, but the problem is, is the, the, the tinnitus in my left ear is so massive that it, it drowns out everything I would hear in my other ear too. Tinnitus is basically the brain's way of trying to fill in the gap for the hearing that was lost. And so a cochlear implant is the only way to get an ear hearing again after it has a uh, severe profound sensory neural hearing loss. So by giving that sound back, that can be very, very helpful for patients that have tinnitus, hearing and noise difficulty associated with single-sided deafness. So I went in and I had the, the surgery done, and it, was, uh, and it was actually, I was surprised at how, how quick it was. I had 7.30 surgery and I was at home in my bed by one o'clock, um, which, was, which was good. Uh, and then we went back a month later to activate it. So you go for a month while you heal up and everything gets back to where it should be. And then we went back in September and we activated the, uh, the actual device. There's a wide range of results that we see from patients. Mr. Boyle, I would say, is one of our real good performers. Again, um, some patients, just when they get awareness of sound and they are understanding some speech better, then that, that's a good sign. So he has uh, better hearing in his other ear. So having the natural sound with his implant uh, helped make that acoustic natural sound and the electrical sound kind of work together to help his implant side improve its hearing. And then he, we had follow-up appointments for reprogramming and to just change and adjust those settings to help him hear best. I would definitely say based off of my experience that Julia has helped me move along a lot faster than I thought I would. I thought this was going to take a long time. Just from reading, you know, a lot of stories online where people's experiences and how long it took them to get it functioning and working and feeling comfortable. Um, but you know, by going in and seeing Julia over a couple, a couple months, uh, I'm a lot farther along than I thought I was going to be. Every time I call them, every time I'm in there, it's. I just. 
There's never been a point where I've been concerned if I was at the right location, whether I was dealing with Dr. Sappington or I was dealing with, with Julia or anyone there, I've always felt that this, is, this was the place to help me you know, get back to where I am now. The entire experience has been life-changing for me. Um, it's not a change I ever thought I was going to have to have. Um, it was very sudden, but someone asked me the other day, you know, hey, would you, you know, the, the cochlear implant, the fact that you have it, would you, would you do it again? I mean, 10 times out of 10. You know, and there's, there's, it's, it's difficult sometimes with some of the things, and, but this is an amazing blessing that I, I, again, for those few months, I never thought I was gonna have again, but because of going to them and talking to them and what they're able to do, you know, I'm here today, and, and again, I truly feel blessed, and people think that's crazy when I tell them what happened, but you know, for where I am, from where I was, um, it, it truly is amazing, so.